Good evening, farmers. That's right. I said good evening. There has been an update today to Farmers Dynasty, and I thought I'd just make a quick vid on the updates. And we'll see if they are all implemented. And the reason why I did, this is where I usually leave off when I get done recording. I don't sleep in case there's an update because I just want to maybe test things before I sleep and wake up next morning. So one of the things we're going to test right off, as I'm looking at the patch notes, is apparently we can, <coughs> excuse me, we can go down, sit by the fire, and regain stamina. I think they say stamina, but it's, as you can see right here, it's sleep. As, as they call it here. But we'll find out. Yes, this is on the patch notes. They say stamina. So let's go find that out first. There are a lot of few little things we're going to check out. So, can we sit by the fire? Does it give us an option? Yes, it does give us an option. So, apparently, if we sit on the bench... Yeah, so if you look at our, at our sleep numbers... They are going up, so we can regain... Stamina, as they say in the patch notes. Now, it says with no fire... It'll get up to 70%, so I guess I'll go up to, like, 70, obviously. So when you sit, as we're doing right now, we're in third-person view, and moving my mouse around or anything does not change field of view. So let's stand up and apparently look at the sky. Now it says if we light the fire and take a seat, our stamina or sleep numbers should go up faster and not only that it won't it'll, our max level will go up to 90 percent so I'm guessing it'll go up to sleep 90 obviously so yeah now you don't now you can just eat and probably work to the night if you want to do just come down and sit by the fire can I check to see what time it is okay oh so when you go in the tab and come out you're standing back up so it does regenerate pretty good at a really, I don't want to say fast speed, but fast enough to where it's actually worth it. I just wish you could move the camera around. Yeah, the second I the second I try to hit uh, W, A, S, or D, it stands you right up. But you can see, we I thought we, well, we were at 22 when we started the test. We're already up to 54, 55 is going pretty, pretty good. So that's one of the pa uh, things in the update. Since we are here, and I saw this on the way over, they have adjusted the rates on these as well. So apparently, this will now hold, uh, I think they said 50 tons for home storage. So, before it was, what, 10? So now I guess it holds 50? And also, on the spreader, it doesn't say for the new spreader or old spreader. Oh, yes, it does. I'm sorry. It says fertilizers, fertilizer usage for new machines reduced in half. So I'm guessing as you're using the fertilizer spreader, it just reduces the rate you're, uh, you're using the fertilizer, obviously. So that's a bonus bonus right there. The storage holds more and the rate that your tank will go down will go down a lot slower. So that's the other thing. And now that I'm listening as well, I remember, because I did read the patch notes before I started recording, I can hear it is, they've added ambient music. Did it stop? I, I did hear it just before I started recording, I had different kind of music I haven't heard before. So there's different music that they've added to the game. That's another uh, thing. And it also says... I do have the tile. Ability to put tiles under the door. Oh, in the basement. Oh, wait, so I can't do this yet? Well, that sucks, because that still annoys me a little bit. I do have tile, I believe. 
But I can't adjust that. So you're saying... So I can put ceramic tiles in the basement. Okay. What else? Spiffy up the basement. Uh, oh, sure. You let me get that little corner. But I can't get that up there? I don't know who really would put... I mean, yes, you do put tile in, in some basements that are well over, but... I mean, it does make it look a lot better. But, uh, guys, you forgot a section. I still, You still won't let us uh, do this little section here? Yep, I cannot find a trigger anywhere for that. Ooh, I thought for me that was something that's for the door. Alright, so we got tile in the basement. Alright. And the other thing that they said they, they changed is the lighting from the street lights. Better ambient light from the street lights. I will agree that does look better than it did. It's something I didn't pay too much attention to, but I do notice a difference so far. Because it seems to light up uh, Joe's store a little bit better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do I got a black door? Orange door. Black door. Oh, well, whatever. I'll see if I can get that back to orange when I go back. Or is that blue? More like a navy blue. But yeah, they do got ambient music for the nighttime, which I'm sure, which they said in the patch notes, that there's different ambient music for nighttime, daytime. Hey, John. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't need a glitch out there. Whoa, whoa. Stop it, stop it. Thank you. I don't see nothing new in here. But they didn't say there was anything new in the Joe's store. Yeah, I do like the lighting. Seems better. I do like the fact now that we can, if we wanted to, we can go through the night. Do I have to sit on the bench? Can I sit on a stump? No. Just there. There. Alright. What time is it? Yeah, it's not past midnight. Yeah, so the minute you hit tab or you hit any WASD button, it just stands you right up. So I guess if you were down to, you know, low stamina slash sleep, I guess you could sit in the bench for a while and uh, go get yourself a drink or something in the meantime. I would say a couple minutes in real time will probably bring up far enough to where you need to be. Just remember that with the fire going, it should bring you up to 90%. And without a fire... It says 70%. But it does say the lower condition, the faster it restores. So maybe as we get closer up in the 70s and 80s, does it doesn't restore as fast? Or does it start, does it matter where your starting point is? Not sure, but I guess that's something you can figure out in the future. If you want to test that yourself, go right ahead. Now the other thing that they made an update to, and of course they can't tell because the wife is in bed. Apparently, uh, from look at the patch notes, your wife could have been pregnant and not showing it because they said pregnant models for all possible women slash wives. So it could be that Allison's pregnant, but she wasn't modeled to show that she was. So we'll have to see what she looks like when she gets up in the morning. It doesn't say they made it easier for them to get pregnant or not. 
but we do need to go to bed because also there's something to do with milking the cows that I want to see myself. Although when I read the patch notes on the tile, I thought it meant I could do these sections here. I guess tiling the basement is nice, but yeah, this is starting to drive me a little bit nuts. Maybe in a hot fix, devs, if you do watch this, maybe figure that out. Uh, no, wrong room. This room? Just checking the rooms over to see if there's anything different that I can see, but nothing out of that, so... Yeah, because she just looks like a little bit bigger in this area. <laughs> so let's go to bed and see what she looks like in the morning. I did not see her out of bed before I started, when I started recording. She was already in bed. So let's find out. So while she's in bed doing that, we will go check out the cows. So apparently now they say, in case the wife shows up, we don't want to do two surprises at once. When you milk the cow, they will not lay down. And also, they say there might be an an animation for you to milk the cow, and there is. So it's the same process. you got to keep hitting the, the E button or whatever button you have designated for milking the cows. Okay, so even though I went to the second cow, they kind of show me like at the same cow. Let's see if it changes. This is a black and white cow. Okay, so maybe it was just the way it looked before. I mean, this isn't a neat little add-on, but really, since our wife does it for us now anyways, we really don't milk the cows anymore. And we'll go ahead and milk them all because now I don't know if I milk half of them or not. I don't know if the wife will. I guess it doesn't really matter either. So yeah, so when you milk your cows, it actually shows you milking the cows. Boo. Alright, now it's usually 7%. I'm just trying to do some quick math in my head here, so... That's at 2% times 5. Yeah, so it's going to... Your storage will now hold 50... Well, it does say 50 tons, but that, that does come out to be 50,000 uh, kilograms. So, I guess you don't have to worry about running out of space now. Which is nice, and, but your cows also do produce more slurry per day than in the past. And I think they said by 50% more? Yeah, daily manure produced by cows increased by 50%. Alright, so where's the wife? Do you look pregnant? No, you do not. Hi, honey. Any new voiceovers? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, nope, there's just something you need. I'm off to work. So I'm not getting no prompts to ask her if she wants to have children yet. Is there something you need, unless, darling? Unless this is something she needs. <laughs> no, not at the moment. All right. We'll just ask how she is. Up. Anything here? How are you? So I would definitely assume that she's still not pregnant. And I can't ask if she would want to have a kid. Uh, you know, half a million social points. Over a half million euros. Oh yeah, this is something I almost forgot about. Farm statistics. Yes. Farm stats. <laughs> I'll just say it that way. Uh, farm buildings fixed. Yes, 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 yes. Of course we did that in the quest. 
All right, so it tells you right here, like in the greenhouse, it'll tell you how many uh, seedlings you have of zucchini, tomato, and pumpkin. I got all uh, 70, all 70 planted for zucchini. I don't have no none planted for tomato or pumpkin. And it shows you what's ready for harvest. It does show you the community. It shows you your cows. I got nine. Apparently, I milked three of them. It shows you how much hay is in there for the cows, hens. The uh, manure stored. Oh, 17 fields? I thought it was 18. Okay. Shows me what's growing. I have one ready to heart. Oh, grass. Okay. Seed stored. Fertilizer. What I got in the grain. And how much you got my fuel. So this is nice. It does it does show you what's ready to harvest. It, I would assume... I know grass is ready to harvest. Is it going to show me... To, so like if I have three maize fields as I do, if two are, are ready to harvest, is it going to say ready to harvest two of the three? Which is kind of odd because usually when I do a certain crop, I do them all in one day, so they're all ready at the same time. But that is nice to see anyways. And the other thing they said that was ready, uh, apparently, but I'm not seeing this, unless I'm not understanding it. They said they had certain zones on the map, but I, they named certain zones on the map, but yes, I do realize they have like places, the church and places to meet. I'm just not seeing, I thought they'd be like, Districts and names and districts. Town Square. You know, that's the old mill. So I'm not uh, seeing that too much. I wonder if they fixed as well. Well, I don't know if that was Quince when I lit the fire, the music started, or... Yeah, they have fixed that, so when it rains, you can't have the fire going. Let's see if it goes out here in a second or two. Yep, so they did fix that. You can hear in the background the different ambient music. So those are the updates that uh, have most interest or that I can show you. Um, obviously the pregnancy part. Uh, I guess we're not ready to have kids yet, but apparently they didn't make uh, changes for that. I'm not sure. But... Uh, if I do see changes in my future recordings, today's, today's video is just about on the updates that came out. So basically, you can regain sleep slash stamina by you know sitting by a fire. Having the fire, having the fire on helps uh, increase it faster. Uh, showed you milking the cows. Now it shows you sitting on a stool milking a cow. We talked about the slurry. The storage is increased. And uh, the slurry tank when it's being used, uh, decreases at a slower rate. I think this is 50%. Uh, if you want to know stats on your farm, you can go hit tab and hit farm stats. And it'll show you the stats there. We went over that. Uh, and of course, ambient lighting is better for the street lights at night as well. And we put tile in the basement. Still can't fix it though. But one of their patch notes, I thought they meant you can, oh, you can put tile by the stairs down in the red in parentheses in the basement. So yeah, we need to fix this, devs. Drives me nuts. And yes, as we can see, apparently they fix models. Some I guess some wives didn't show when they were pregnant. So I thought, oh, okay, maybe I'll load in. You know, she looks pregnant when she's in bed, but yeah, I guess she's not pregnant here. 
So those are the new updates. Uh, I know they said they did apologize for being a couple days late, but they had some issues with the, with the update. They did sort of keep us up to date on it. I said they'll come out as soon as they have it all figured out. So the only thing I don't see is on the map, they said there's now districts for... Yeah, trying to zoom in closer. Introduce named map districts. Names are displayed when, oh, oh, when entering a district. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll take you for a ride. One of these days, I'll learn to read and be coherent when I read and understand it. So it doesn't show on the map. I gotta drive into the district. Let's go. Let's go this way. Well, I can see my lupine fields are coming along nicely. So I'm going to keep an eye on the screen as we drive further away from where we are and see if it changes. There's the building materials store. And let's drive up to this little city town meeting area up here and see if it changes. I really would like to see new vehicles added to the game. And I hope they do kind of soon because it's kind of lacking in the vehicle department. Ah, arriving at town of Redberry. I mean, it is a nice little add-on, but what's really the purpose of having town sections? Other than just having names of town sections, really. I mean, you look on the map, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't say that we're up here. It's not in the map. So, I mean, is this something for the future? They're not really saying. I mean, maybe when I, well, I can't talk to an NPC today because it's raining, but maybe they'll, you know, if you go talk to someone, they'll say in their name as you, as you hover over where they live. Arriving at new fields. Okay. Well, let's head back to the farm just to see what kind of section we live in. So somewhere in here I arrived at Newfields. So somewhere when I get back in here I'll be back at Redberry. I would think. Okay. But I would like them to, to see, like, add different kind of tractors. Add maybe some weights for the tractors. A couple more implements would be nice. Okay, I would assume we left Fredberry. I'm just trying to figure out the name of the town that our farm is in, but maybe there's no name. I don't know, did I miss it? <laughs> Okay, so they do have name of the towns, just that you have to drive or enter that section of the map before it tells you what... Oh, arriving at Homestead. Okay. That's all fine and dandy. Actually, I don't want to... Oh, my door is back to orange. Okay. I was going to say, I, I want to go paint my uh, van back to orange, but I guess I don't have to. Oh, the scaffolding didn't get fixed. 
Not that it's a big deal. So anyways, that's... That's going to be today's video. Just a, just a bit on the updates. Uh, a couple of nice things, I think, which is the liquid slurry. The milk on the cows, I... It's nice, but to me, not so helpful. Because I really don't do that no more. Uh, regaining uh, sleep is nice. Because you ever get far back in your, in your work, I guess you can just come sit by the fire, go grab a drink for a couple minutes, come back, and get back to work and we'll work overnight in the seat. But that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys found this a little bit helpful. Still not pregnant. So, <laughs> uh, I'll have to have to read some of the notes on, on the Steam page just to see if anyone's had luck of having a pregnant wife yet or not. So, see if that's still possible. But that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys found this helpful to you. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.